What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Learn Japanese from Some Guy. In today's video, we're going to be looking at chapter 56, where we will learn how to use peiwa ikenai to express uh, something is you know, forbidden or must not, should not be done. So a very, very useful structure. Um, and it's very easy. All we have to do is append wa ikenai to the te form of our type 1, type 2, or type 3 verb. So as long as you know how to conjugate a verb to the te form, it should be uh, should be no no problem. So uh, if you need to review, be sure to check out my my video on on that. But I'm assuming you already you know have seen it and you're familiar. So we'll just uh, continue. So here we have an example sentence of you know te wa ikenai. So we can say anata wa hitori de itte wa ikenai desu. Anata wa hitori de itte wa ikenai desu. So you mustn't go by yourself. Itte wa ikenai. Itte wa ikenai. Should not go. Must not go by yourself. Maybe it's dangerous or, you know, it's, it's against the rules. You just should not do it. So, ikenai can be translated as, you know, something is not not good or something is, is bad. So, the structure is basically saying, you know, two verb would not be good. So, uh, of course, you know, that doesn't sound in English sound too serious. But in Japanese, you know, it can have a very strong, strong feeling depending on you know, how and when it's used. But uh, we'll look at some more example sentences later. But for now, we'll just uh, look at some example conjugation. So again, we're just going to append wa ikenai to the te form of our of our verb. So here we have the dictionary form verbs. So we have nomu, and we get of course nonde the te form, and we append wa ikenai, and we get nonde wa ikenai must not drink, hashiru to run, hashitte, hashitte wa ikenai, kangaeru, kangaete, kangaete wa ikenai mustn't think, motsu to hold, motte. Motte wa ikenai. Nageru, to throw. Nagete. Nagete wa ikenai. So it must not throw. Maybe it's against the rules or it's dangerous. You know, nagete wa ikenai. Dame desu. So now we're going to just practice a little bit. Remember, you can go to learn Japanese from someguy.com, print out these little practice problems to practice your writing. But uh, here we have number one. So in the first column, just write the te form of the given verb. And then again with wa ikenai appended. So here I have number one. Kudu. And here we have the last. Five. So pause the video, answer these, and now we'll check. All right. So number one, we have kuru. So we get kite. Kite wa ikenai. So must not come. Number two, suru. So we have our type three verbs, right? Kuru and suru. Suru shite shite wa ikenai. Number three, type two verb, oboeru. So we have oboete. Oboete wa ikenai. I think I made a mistake here. Oboete wa. Nah. It's, it's anyway. Aboite wa ikenai. Number four, utsu. Utte. Utte wa ikenai. Number five, neru. Nete. Nete wa ikenai. And the last one, number six, iku. Itte. Itte wa ikenai. So that's it. So just append wa ikenai to the te form of the verb, type one, type two, or type three, and you get, you know, must not do that verb. Okay, it's against the rules, it's forbidden. So now we'll look at some of these verbs in example sentences so we can see how they might be used in. Uh, conversation or in real life situations. So number one, sonna hidoi koto wo itte wa ikenai desu. Sonna hidoi koto wo itte wa, iken, it, itte wa ikenai desu. So you must not say such terrible things. Hidoi koto. Bad, you know, terrible things. Itte wa ikenai. Mustn't say. Number two, sono kuni no namamizu wo nonde wa ikemasen. Sono kuni no namamizu wo nonde wa ikemasen. So do not drink the water in that country. You must not drink the water. You will get sick. Namamizu. So like uh, water from the tap, for example. Number three. Ie no naka de kutsu wo haitte wa ikemasen. Ie no naka de kutsu wo haitte wa ikemasen. So you mustn't wear shoes inside the house. So we have kutsu shoes. And when we talk about wearing shoes, we use the verb haku. So there, in Japanese, there are different verbs, you know, for wearing a hat, wearing shoes, wearing a shirt. There, there are different verbs. But when you wear something on your feet, you use haku. Kutsu wo haitte wa ikemasen, or pants. Uh, number four, anata no imoto wo nagutte wa ikenai yo. Anata no imoto wo nagutte wa ikenai yo. So it's not okay to hit your little sister. So naguru is to hit. Nagutte wa ikenai. So you must not hit your sister. Although, you know, pushing her might be okay. Uh, number five, koko de hashitte wa ikenai desu. Abunai desu. Koko de hashitte wa ikenai desu. Abunai desu. So no running, maybe at the pool. Hashitte wa ikenai. And the last one, number six, gakko de wa 
ガールフレンドをキスしてはダメ。キスしてはダメです。学校ではガールフレンドとキスしてはダメです。So, kissing your girlfriend is, at school is prohibited. So, here we have, you know, like a really formal, you know, prohibited. You know, してはいけない。キスしてはダメ。So, ダメ、as you guys have probably heard many times if you're a fan of anime, for example, ダメ means like something is no good. You know, ダメです。bad. So, instead of saying いけない、we can be more casual and maybe even, you know, represent, a, a, like, a, express a stronger feeling. You know, してはダメ。must not do. So it's, it's the same, just a more, more casual form of ikenai. And、uh, that's going to do it for today's chapter. So if you're wondering, you know, hey, Jeremy, what about the practice problems?、Uh, there are no practice problems this chapter. We're going to do、uh, practice problems that incorporate what we learned in this chapter in chapter 57. So、uh, you can expect that video next week, and we'll use what we learned today and do some practice problems. With what we learn next week. But before we get to next week's chapter,、uh, we have the summary of this chapter. And in chapter 56, I think, <laughs> we learn to append wa ikenai to the te form of a verb to express you know, some action is prohibited or must not be done. The more formal or polite version of ikenai is, of course, ikemasen. And another thing to、uh, realize is that you know, ikenai can be conjugated you know, to the past tense, ikenakatta, for example, or ikemasen deshita, or dame deshita, just like we do you know, any other verb. And dame is the informal casual form of ikenai. So, shite wa dame, shite wa ikenai, shite wa ikemasen. It's all the same, just varies in level of politeness. And so, next time we'll look at chapter 57, where we're going to learn how to express must do something. So, today we learned how to express must not do something. So, we're going to learn how to say you, you have to do something. And, you know, for example,、so、with nakte wa ikenai. So, even though we have you know, a negative, we have kind of two negatives. So, to not do something would be not good or not bad. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll look at it later. But must do something with nakte wa ikenai and nakereba naranai. So, we'll do that next time. As always, thank you guys very much for, for watching.、Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed and who comments and likes these videos. Like I said, it, it helps, helps me out a lot and I really, really appreciate it. You can find the link for this book if you wish to you know, support the series、uh, in the description below. Check it out on Amazon and be sure to leave a review.、Uh, that's You know, a great way to show your appreciation or you know, support. So, if you want to do that, you know, thank you very much.、Uh, but until next time,、uh, you know, be sure to review, study what we've learned up to now. And the next time we'll look at chapter 57, must do. So, matane.